doing this next Saturday. Last thing from the guard. So I'm here, he's between my legs. We could have got here a lot of ways. He took me down. I wrestled here. I fought for this position. Whatever. Um, anyway, this is where we've ended up. So he's starting to hit me. I oh, really want to get control of something. I like being here. Feet on his hips, hands on his biceps, and I'm pinching his biceps and triceps with my knees. Try to hit me. Try to bite me. Everything, everything's a lot safer. I can also slide down to the wrist if I want it. Now the wrist is out of control. I can now start putting pressure here and coming with that from the bottom. So even if it comes like a big wide punch, I'm just going to cover and grab. And notice I'm on one hip. I'm on my, I'm on my right side. Oh. I go for that Rocky's favorite crank, which we're not going to have to worry about right now. But because I'm here, you know what I do have also? I have a knee. Who sees the knee? Now get over here. I'm knee in the face, Rocky. They should probably tell me to get over here. Get up. <laughs> 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 See what I mean? I have this little plate. This is my game. I'm coming with this bottom knee. I'm coming with that elbow. If I want it, oh, there's my Kimura. If I don't get it, I'll just push it off. I can hop out from here, hit him, come up, get off. Not for grandma. Not for grandma. Make sense? So again. If he comes with a big wide punch, I'm just going to cover and grab it. So he goes with that big wide punch, cover, and I just reach down and grab it. You know, I almost have his wrist. How does that feel? Good. Yeah. A lot of times you feel this, what are you going to do? Pull back. Thank you. My goal isn't to finish him from the guard. My goal is to. Get up. Get no. no. Get home. All that matters is get home. I don't have to get any of these fucking moves. Any of them. If I just create some weird, crazy scramble where I just flip out on the guy and I hear stand up, he comes to attack me, I just go, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Worth the price of admission. This doesn't have to be a Van Damme movie. You don't have to be like, uh, you'll be my other chapter stand right there. Now, in unison, you're going to move forward. And I'm going to go, whoa, like that. So, put your hands down and walk forward with your eyes closed for a second. Trust me, I'll be fine. Go. Actually, we actually did that. <laughs> good, good, good. But we're not looking for anything crazy. It doesn't have to be a snap kick. I don't have to come around and do something like that. I don't have to throw some big punch. I have to go a Superman and then a kick. I don't do any of that stuff. I have to get home. Sit, just get home. If I go for this and it doesn't work, I can knee him, push him, go home. <coughs> Who here knows Dave Carter's two favorite weapons in the world? What are they? Street and stairs. That's right, stairs and traffic. <laughs> stairs and traffic. This will not go on YouTube. You keep recording, I was going to out this part. <laughs> Stairs and traps are my two favorite weapons. Why? Not my fault. Clumsy. So if, if I've got him in this position or what, and I push him, and he trips over something, the stairs, he's going to, boom, he falls down. I go home. If I get on him and mount him and punch him ten times in the face, odds are cops are going to show up. <laughs> cops are going to show up. You've got blood all over you. Everyone saw you mount them, you got camera phones off, because I see camera phone videos of fights all the time. Now you have explaining to do. It's gonna be a lot harder to go home. Make sense? Whole purpose of this is to go home. Go home. If you stab them, kill them, bite them somewhere unmentionable, get in there and rip it off, or do the do the tiger claw and rip out his throat. Fine. As long as you go home. That's it. So from this position, once again. If I am here and we are down, maybe he's already on top of me. So he's already here. If he's in this close, 
I'm just going to bite him. I mean, you can be like, hey, what if he's got AIDS or something? Well, fast death versus slow death. This is life and death. You know, maybe, maybe I get AIDS and they finally cure for it in two years. Or maybe it kills me right now. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to bite him. I'm going to try to get a hand in. I'm going to get my hands on the inside as much as possible. I'm going to eye gouge him. I'm going to elbow him. I'm going to elbow him. I'm going to headbutt him. I've got that karate chop here, that ear cup here, slap the back of the neck here. Plus, even from this position, I can grab his wrist, come over the top, go from parallel to perpendicular. If he straightens out his arm, same exact series we did standing up. Make sense? So it's kind of play. Once one person's going to be on the bottom for like two minutes, and then it's going to play. The main thing is keep my hands here. So whatever he does, I can grab those biceps. From here, I can go boom right on his ear. Boom, eye gouge. If I hit that eye gouge, we're just going to do the forehead. So if I got here and I just go eye gouge, what's he going to do naturally? Make sense? So one side's going to be down for two minutes, other side's going to be on top, just slapping. So. face, you do a little tap, yeah, yeah, there you go, see, do that again, <laughs> see what I mean, go, your goal, your goal is not just submitting, your goal is to go home, it's the same, same, yeah, oh, no, oh, 